What is going on everybody? I have been kind of MIA again. I just started a brand new job. I just finished training on Friday as a certified cell tower climber. So during the week I will not be making videos. Of course I am going to ask if I'm allowed to record my climbing because I'm sure you guys would love to see that. But today, just as a put together, I guess, kind of just off the wall, I thought about doing this. We're going to be reviewing chemical guys, tradition, lifestyle, clean and shine starter kit. All right, this is not a paid endorsement. This is not a sponsorship. I just got it for my truck because I want something, stop chasing. I want something that will continuously keep my car, or keep my truck clean. I want to take care of it, make sure it's nice. I don't treat it like it's a pavement princess. What I do treat it as is a truck. And for things to last a long time, you have to take care of them. Paint. rust which my truck sadly has just a little bit of a rust spot right there I want to get that fixed before it gets too bad but it's like right up here right here you can see there's a lot of rust in there I mean, it's a dodge it's bound to happen but because those are clip-ons what me and my friend Keith are gonna end up doing we're gonna take these right here and we're actually going to bolt through so that this is on the metal, where it is actually on the metal, not just clipped underneath. But that's not the point of this video. This video today, we are gonna go through the process. We're gonna see how Chemical Guys Car Care Clean and Shine Starter Kit fares with my truck. And if I like the results, I will not say, hey, go out and buy this, because it's your decision if you wanna go out and buy it. But what I wanna do is give you guys an idea as to what I'm doing outside of fishing, outside of all that, because I really don't have time to fish right now, okay? Like, I just don't. So we're just gonna turn this into an all-around for the next couple couple months, maybe up to a couple years, we're just gonna turn this into an all-around what I'm doing on the weekends. Here we go. So to start off, what you guys get in the kit is what you see here. You get one of these mitts, it comes in this package. You get the total interior cleaner and protectant, dash glass, navigation, and more. Nice little spray bottle. You get the citrus wash and gloss, ultra premium citrus based hyper wash, auto shampoo, gloss enhancer. Makes it look good. And then you get the Diablo wheel cleaner. Those are your primary things. As a bonus that Chemical Guys likes to, or would, wants to put in here, is this culture hat says chemical guys where they're based out of passion tradition lifestyle and it's a pvc material okay and it's a really nice really nice hat on the inside got a button adjustment so that's that's what you get in the box this is what everything comes in we're going to start out i'm going to get the bucket filled up we're going to follow what the directions say on the box and the first part step one it does say clean your wheels step two is wash your paint step three is refresh your interior I'm not gonna let you guys see the interior until Carly and I get it completely cleaned out because I've basically been living out of my truck for the last week and a half. And I do apologize for any wind if it's hard to hear me. If it's hard to hear me. It is windy day up here in Wabash, like as it usually is, but today's worse than the rest. So let's get to it. Like I said, I'm gonna start filling up the bucket. We're gonna get this figured out. We're gonna get this cleaned up, okay? What she tells us to do is we're going to take the wheel cleaner, what we're going to do, we're going to spray the wheel, we're going to spray the suspension assembly, stuff like that. What it, what it specifically says, always run its wheel surface, which is what you just watched. Wheel surface off with clean water to loosen the dirt and debris, shake well, spray Diablo wheel cleaner onto wheels, tires, and suspension components, and agitate wheels and tires with brush to remove brake dust, grease, and road grime. Rinse for a spot free shine, apply chemical, chemical guys, wheel guard wrap protection. I don't have the wheel guard, but what we're gonna do, we're, we are gonna clean this up, so let's get to it. I didn't have it on the first one, it smells like cherries. Thank you. 
So just the four tires, that's about as much as we've used. We've used just a little over, or a little under half of the bottle. So the bottles do seem to put out a lot and don't carry a lot. It's all right, I guess. So I got all my towels, all my microfibers in there. I want to find the most abrasive one, which is going to be this one right here. Okay. So what we're going to do here. It looks like this stuff kind of dries kind of fast. So definitely not advisable to just let it sit, do what I did. But let's go ahead and start. Oh yeah. Like you can just see on here. It is just getting all that dust, dirt, and grime off of this surprisingly well. That's, that is messy, messy. like right here I can't tell if that's yeah that's just build up the brake rust dirt just a bunch of build up down here in these crevices and it looks like that this chemical guys is actually making it easier to wipe out It'd definitely be easier if we had like a coarse brush or something like that not just a little towel but you can see this is really compounding the dirt making it easier to wipe and get up and off after the wheel cleaner got that nice matte effect on it definitely you can definitely tell that they put a lot of research into the quality and performance of this product yeah, I still got a little bit of brake dust up here, but I really didn't scrub too hard. It, like I said, it'd be much better if we, or if I, had a coarser brush to get this done with. But next we're going to move on to, I believe, it will be the soaping of my truck. Which could be the citrus gloss. Okay. For this one, shake well, add one ounce of citrus washing gloss to five gallons of water. Wash surface, rinse using clean water for a perfect shine. It has paintwork cleanser to remove wax, sealant, and glaze. Use a concentration. Use, a, use in concentrations of three ounces or more. So I'm going to fill up this water bucket completely. That's a five gallon bucket. We're going to add the one ounce. If I can figure out one ounce, if you love your mother, you know proper volumes. So, kind of a flip top lid add an ounce I bet you there's a safety seal in that so you're gonna flip it over
came in for a well. That dry weird, I would say that this did a really, really good job. Even with hard water. And it definitely brings out the micro scratches in the paint. Definitely does that. But it definitely puts the Some dirt and debris specks on here. I just kind of want to get out of here. Microfiber up there. There's two of them in there, just so you know. Good job. So, it would help if I had it on. Stream off. Give that a good, nice wiping. Oh, wow. That's shiny. That is very shiny. That's like mirror like. There's one without the washing, there's one with the washing, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can definitely tell that there's a darker aspect to it. Do I recommend chemical guys? I do. Even with having the hard water that we have through the, through the well, even with the hard water, with all the contaminants, I can't speak English, but I give them an overall A minus in rating on a kind of a A plus to F scale. Definitely an A minus just simply because when you looked at the pictures on the side of the box with how sudsy the actual soap's supposed to be versus what we actually got, the bucket itself had pretty good suds in it, but as soon as you got it onto the, the mitt, there wasn't a lot of suds, there wasn't a lot of suds on the truck or anything like that. It still did its job. Uh, wiping it down with a microfiber rag definitely gives its gloss back. If you don't wipe it down, you do have a little bit of a haze on it, just from the leftover. The window cleaner, window and glass, definitely put a mirror shine up onto the windows. So you can look up and see yourself, fix your hair, fix your hat, fix your belt buckle if you're tall enough. Stay on a step stool, fix your buckle. Did I have to do this review? No. Did I want to put something what? Because that chicken do it. <laughs> Did I just have to do this product review? No. Did I want to? Yes. Is there any reason behind it? No. I just wanted to put something up on the channel so you guys can see what I'm doing, why I've been kind of hesitant on posting anything. We haven't really done too well in tournaments, fishing. I don't want to post anything where we don't get any fish or anything like that. So just some filler videos. Hope to see you on the next one. Thanks guys for watching. Go ahead and drop something that you'd like to see me do a side review on a weekend for.